Well, we've been pleased to do a series with UAB to help you keep your heart healthy. There are things that you need to know about. Join me right now is Dr. Jamie Davies, who is a cardiac surgeon at UAB. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Thanks. We're talking about valve disorders today. And a lot of people are familiar with mitral valve prolapse, but it encompasses much more than just that, right? Correct. Uh, there are actually four valves in the heart, not just the mitral valve. There's the tricuspid valve, the pulmonary valve, the mitral valve, and the aortic valve. They can all be affected in different ways. In general, the pulmonary valve is more associated with congenital problems. The mitral valve and the aortic valve are associated more with adult problems or as with advanced age, there can be different uh, problems with that. So with congenital, we're saying this can affect babies all the way up in age, and it could be a different array of causes. Some could be lifestyle linked, right? Correct. Um, when you look at more of the adult causes, not specifically the congenital ones, they can be related some to, to smoking or other lifestyle changes. It can also be, you can have problems with the mitral valve related strictly to coronary disease that's directly related to lifestyle issues. Okay. Let's kind of lay them out. The mitral valve is more of a flapping, is that correct? Correct. Most commonly you can have a flapping or people uh, understand mitral valve prolapse, mm -hmm. but you can also have stenosis or obstruction. The most common uh, physiology of it is that it's leaking or that it has somewhat of a uh, floppy area as you described that leads to leaking and can lead to heart failure symptoms is, if it advances. Okay and then there's regurgitation as well when it's going the, the blood flow is going in the wrong direction. Correct. The regurgitation and the leaking are basically the same and it, and it leaks back into the other part of the chamber of the heart, the atria of the heart that also leaks back into the lungs and pa people or patients can feel like they're suffocating mm -hmm. or they have fluid building up on their lungs. So what are some of the other symptoms in addition to that? The aortic valve can be associated with uh, chest pain, similar chest pain that you can have with coronary disease. You can have passing out spells or syncope. You can have shortness of breath as it advances as the heart becomes weaker and you have more of heart failure like shortness of breath symptoms. The mitral valve is more commonly associated with shortness of breath or heart failure symptoms. The tricuspid or pulmonary valve are usually related to right hearted failure uh, symptoms that can be seen with peripheral edema or swelling in the legs. Mm -hmm. You can have swelling in the belly or fluid developing in the abdomen. Mm -hmm. So any of those warning signs would definitely be reason to seek help and talk to your doctor and get get an opinion on things but again it is helpful to know that lifestyle changes can make a difference absolutely uh, you should see your doctor regularly especially if any of these symptoms develop but you should try to modify your lifestyle stop smoking try to eat right exercise all the normal things for a heart or cardiac healthy UAB of course is an incredible resource that we have right here in our community and we wanted to let you know if you have any concerns along these lines you can certainly call them and set up an appointment is the UAB Health Finder number and that's 1-800-UAB-8816, 1-800-UAB-8816. They also have a great website, uabheartbeat.org. I know there's a cookbook that's on there that helps encourage people to make wise nu nutritious choices, but you can also uh, learn more about your health by going on that website, right? Abs absolutely. Between the website and then working with your doctor or referring physician, you can try to um, become more cardiac healthy or heart healthy. Okay. Okay, Dr. Jamie Davies, thank you so much. We certainly do appreciate and giving us some of these tips and helping us to know how to keep our hearts more healthy. We appreciate it. Thank you very Thanks. much. More great tips from UAB doctors and to see the entire series, you can go to our website, daytimealabama.com. Coming up after the break, mm -hmm. a trip down uh, memory lane. We go back about 40 years. You probably saw them at your church, a truth reunion or tribute tour. Uh -huh. That's coming up after the break. Stay with us as Daytime Alabama continues. Will we ever have a tribute tour? <laughs> Daytime Alabama <laughs> tribute tour. <laughs>